We lost uh Well, I was gonna bring in the noble kind. <laughs> totally Is Rob him. on camera? What's going on? <laughs> no. What's uh Okay, so normally what would happen right now is after we do our little critique of the song and stuff, uh, I'm just stalling here. and Let's stall just a minute. Uh, normally, while we would introduce the featured artist of the night, they've been hanging out with us all the way up until now, and for some reason, we just lost their signal. So it's the beauties of live TV, the joys of live TV. So why don't we do this? Since they're here, and we know that they're going to probably try to call back, uh, let's go ahead and check out their song faithful friend this is a uh, new review on the website as well and i liked it so much and we've reviewed their music before and their locals to where i live rochester new york like i mentioned before so i decided to have them as a featured artist because they're uh they just write good songs and they seem like good people so let's go ahead and check out faithful friend this is them live a little video i grabbed off the youtube you can also check out the uh, real recording though Sonically, it's probably a little bit better but this is it gives, it gives you a feel of the noble kind with their song faithful friend hopefully we'll be back to get a deeper with Dave segment with them in just about two minutes. Hi, we're the Noble Kind from Rochester, New York, and this is Faithful Friend. So let's go ahead and just transition right into. Oh shit! Oh my god! Are uh, you serious? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we'll, we'll try to keep them on for another five minutes so we can do the interview. Let's go ahead and transition into the deep with Dave thing. All right, Shane and Nathan from the Noble Kind. How are you guys? Hey, doing? what's going on? Hey, nice man. I'm glad we made it work. We we almost wrote it off. All right, so I my. I guess feedback and critique on your guys' stuff is more based on the full band version, which is on SoundCloud, like I told people. And you could also go to their website, which is thenoblekind.org. Um, you can kind of read more about them, see the pictures and all that stuff. But the best way I could describe it, it's, it, it's kind of like uh, your singing style. It's like a rocking moan. You know, it's like a beautiful moan that... <laughs> I, I remember, like, I mentioned Pete Yorn and I mentioned uh, Jack Johnson, you know, stuff like that for the stripped on version. But, like, I just love that singing style. And the most recent band I can think of that kind of reminds me of you is, is a band called Neon Trees. Have you ever heard of those guys? Yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah, so just kind of doing a lot of blending and just kind of easing into the notes and... It's just it's a it's just such a cool style. I mean, even like the strokes and the jets, you hear you hear some of that stuff. Yes, they're a little faster, but I I could definitely see you guys moving a little more into that realm. Uh, but say a few words just on that. 
Oh, sure, yeah. Um, I, I, we, I started as just a, like a solo artist, so I was used to just the folk kind of mellow tone. Um, I never really wanted to be a lead singer in a band, so. yeah. <laughs> uh, but I just felt like taking that step out there uh, after being in another band previously and wanted to explore that. And it's definitely a very different um, experience. Yeah, so I guess I guess that's the question here. It's like, I, I notice you have like folk roots, you know, just kind of listening to your older stuff and uh, reading the bio and everything. So are you apprehensive to kind of go more into the rock realm? Like, does it not feel right? Like internally really. or something? Because uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. Like, I like the way me. it's going. That, that's what's strange. Yeah, I, I like the indie kind of rock. My wife's more folk and, and I don't and care. And Nathan doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, same beat, man. It's like, hey, just add some more guitars. But uh, before I lose you guys to some tech difficulties, I, I, we got to talk about this this uh, feature of just like your your, I guess your mission statement uh, uh, in the the roots of this band and everything. So you say. In the beginning, you guys didn't want money or fame or notoriety. That's not what you set out to do at all. Um, that's why the band uses the proceeds to support partners who do noble work. Explain yeah. that. What is noble work? And it just, <laughs> yeah, uh, we just like to get behind like good causes. So um, t today's uh, hashtag Giving Tuesday. So uh, one place that we support is like Guitars for Glory. And they put instruments in the hands of people that don't have them. So uh, that's just something we uh, we wanted to do with our music, not having like money being the end goal, but just to make music and uh, connect with people and just give back. So with music sales and if, if you get paid for shows, you actually set that aside and oh yeah, do some. Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, that, that's that's an amazing story. Uh, and we try to focus. Favorite things. We try yeah. to focus mainly on local organizations and charities that are in our area that we can go and touch and feel and impact. Cool, man. Cool, man. So with that mission laid out, I mean, do you guys still feel the drive to like grow and make new albums and tour and just kind of keep leveling up, or are you just kind of playing it by ear? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think that there's a lot of steps to get to that. So we're still trying to perfect, I mean, even just sound and uh, songwriting and getting some good, uh, even for shows, set lists together, right? You got to have enough <laughs> quality songs. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that, that'll that be some interesting meetings because I guess my feedback on that is that if you want to reach more people, you it would probably be smarter to step outside of the folk, get more into like a fuller sound because you'll get more shows that way maybe yeah and then yeah. you'll you'll actually be able to help more people that way so so altering your genre might enable you to help more i guess if you look oh, at sure, it that yeah. way yeah can we hire you <laughs> as a consultant <laughs> yeah he's a good cause <laughs> <laughs> yeah man we, we could talk for sure uh yeah let me think about this man i mean that, that's such a it's such a great mission man like you, you just you don't see that really much at all in this space you know it's a lot of artists it's like they that's they basically are seeking exactly what you are not seeking it's like we're seeking fame that's oh, what we yeah. want fame you know i just want to be famous like uh, whenever i've heard someone say that it's like that i don't know it just seems like a low vibration type of mission i guess yeah uh because it's 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 just strictly selfish but anyway <laughs> anyway, so again, the, the website, thenoblekind.org. Uh, you guys on Twitter, Facebook, or anything? Oh, yeah. Uh, Twitter is just the, at the Noble Kind one, number one. Okay. And then uh, Facebook, it's you could just search for the Noble Kind. All right, cool, man. Awesome having you guys here. Please come back with your next album, which is going to be awesome. It's in the works. And we promise we won't have technical difficulties next time. <laughs>